Good morning, everyone. This is Gersher from Technical Options Traders, Inc. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm here to bring you guys a quick segment on technicals and how we look at technicals um, to trade positions and just to help you guys kind of understand the whole concept of it. Now, here I have a chart of Tesla, as you guys can see here. Um, so Tesla, this is a primary trend line that I have. So you can see that Tesla was in the upward trend all the way up until February 18th of this year. Now, these levels that I have here is support and the resistance levels. So I'm going to start from this one right here. So as you can see, Tesla tested, uh, you know, 184 level here and it tried to break it, but I was unable to do so. Uh, then it rejected, came back down and then it kind of bounced here, tested it again and broke through. Now, as you can see, when uh, major levels break, they do break uh, and you can catch a big move here. And you can see they usually break with a volume behind them and volume rises and when breaks happen and as you can see with these candles the breaks are usually big because there's a lot of buying pressure um, now same thing with downside breaks as you can see here there's a lot of selling pressure okay so focusing on levels is important once one what it does is it makes you focus um, you know on critical entries and exits so if your level is hit you can either enter a position or you can exit a position so as this is a major trend line here as long as this major trend line holds I would be bullish meaning I would continue to expect Tesla to rise now this period here you can see that Tesla is in a consolidation so it's it's not really going up it's not going down now since this is my support level once it's broken this um, if it breaks through it i would probably exit so as you can see it did break i would exit my position just for a better entry because i don't want to risk um, just to kind of see if it can bounce back because stocks can break through and keep falling they don't necessarily have to bounce okay um, now the another once i've gotten out here as you can see, uh, this was my big level that Tesla rejected from. So this became a smaller level, but the range got tighter. And break of this range was a good move. But I would enter again at this move here. Because I know that it rejected this move and the possibility of a rejection here is possible again. But if it breaks through, uh, the probability of it going higher is even higher. So once again here, you see Tesla had a, a good uh, $291 move, which is 48%. Now, if you only trade big levels with tight stop losses, your chances of losses are reduced. This is what technical analysis can help you with. Now, as you can see on the break of this level here, volume once again did rise right now when tesla tested this big level here of 900 um you can see consolidated failed to break through broke you see this red uh line that i have here red arrow i have here it shows a failure of the trend line hold okay so failure means a warning sign that you should probably either reduce your position or if you're following a strict plan you should exit your position OK, um, now, if I did exit my position here and I got in here, I would save myself a lot of heartache. OK, and as you can see from here to when it broke the trend line, it had a 27 percent drop. That's a 200 points that it moved down and then it consolidated here for a little bit before going back to 788 and then failing again. So now this channel of 540, you could say, is becoming a big support level. For Tesla if Tesla cannot if Tesla breaks through this level we could see a possible down move of back to 358 level it's very possible this is just my analysis on what Tesla has done and you know what it's proven to do so this is why trading technicals can help you maximize your gains and minimize your losses understanding technicals is very very important